did. Can I borrow your calculator? What, adding up the cost of your wicked wage? I have a math video. <laughs> did anybody notice I was gone? Yeah, your mom took it pretty hard. When I left, she was still drinking gin and sobbing. <laughs> she isn't too pleased, but she'll get over it. Not so sure about your brother, though. Derek? What did he get home? Last night. Raid clothes for equipment or hair or something? He had a lot of questions, like why I was there, and where you were. What did you tell him? Oh, it was fairly vague. But he's not stupid. <laughs> this is gonna be one of those days where everything goes wrong. Don't say that. My first ever radio show was this afternoon. Oh, of course. You'll do great. We're debating the whole issue of student apathy. It's gonna be excellent. I hope. Who have you got for a speaker? Two grad students. One from SFU, who says that students are more active than they used to be, and one from UBC, who says they aren't. Well, if it's a high school show, you should have a high school student. Craig, all you talk about is Uber Burger. Oh, all right. Thanks anyway. I think the premonition was right. This is one of those days. I don't know why. What happened? The SFU guy bailed on me. So you interview the UBC guy. Ask a tough question yourself. Well, for one thing, I'm producing, so it means I have to figure out those buttons to push. Besides, it'd be really cool to put him against a student who's actually involved. Craig? Oh, no, this really is a bad day. Come on. You're well-spoken, you're totally involved, and my best friend who I've always been able to depend on. It's a radio show, so it won't matter that I'm dressed like this. Oh, thank you. I love you. What time? Right after school. You'll be great. God, I need you. Oh, I thought we were just friends. No, for the show. I just lost a guest. The guy from UBC. When he found out he was debating Jennifer, he canceled. Well, hey, I am so your guy. It's just now I can't find Jen. I saw her just before lunch. I'll check her locker. You go to the studio and wait. We're on in five minutes. And don't mention Uber Burger. Don't tell me you're putting him on the air. I have to. My guest failed. Well, Craig can certainly fill airtime. Just, you know, wind him up and watch him blither. What's up with you and Craig anyway? There's nothing between Craig and I. Every time you look at him, you look curls. I hardly notice him one way or another, except when he gets on one of his stupid rants. Wait, that's perfect. You can debate Craig. You must be joking. Cat, if you don't do this, it's just him talking. Going on and on and on and on. Okay, Kat, you sit here. I'm debating her? I got talked into it as an act of civic duty. Where's Jen? I don't know. Okay, guys, remember, this is a lively but polite exchange of ideas. Well, I'm always polite. Yeah, except you never let anyone else talk. Okay, we're on the air in three, two, one. Welcome to the first edition of McKinley Live. You're kidding yourself, and you think you can change anything. I mean, it's out of our control. No, it's not. We can make a difference. We can raise public consciousness. What's so funny? Craig and Kat are debating. Craig and Kat? He's killing them. We can bring issues to light and let people discuss them. That won't make any difference, okay? It's just talk. I don't think that's true. You're a walking mouthpiece, a human PA system, but you never actually manage to change anything. How would you know? You spend all your time dwelling on the net like some creature of darkness. Guys, let's take this easy, okay? Yeah, well, she started it. Oh, a creature of darkness? You spend all your time in a basement. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We'll be back after this break. Okay, guys, we need to cool down. I do not live in a basement. Yeah, well, it's so easy to snipe when you're sitting on the sidelines. <laughs> Try getting involved. <gasps> I mean, I finish what I start. Oh. You never follow through. You guys want to give us a break? Name one thing. One thing that I have dropped. Oh, please. How about me? I never dropped you. You kiss me and then nothing? <laughs> that is ancient history. And what does that have to do with Uber Burgers? It has to do with integrity, Craig, because that's what it all boils down to. Oh, no. But you're so keen on lecturing everyone else. You guys, we're still on the air. What? What do you mean we're still on the air? <laughs> Hello? Hi, Annika. It's for you. Oh, yeah, right. He's 
gonna come back. Maybe we're not making a difference because we're falling into the same old habits. Maybe we need to get a little more creative than writing petitions. Maybe we need to get a little more radical. I mean, Lady Godiva, she rode a horse naked to prove her point. Great, we have a collar. Naked, now you're talking. Is this skill? Let me get this straight. You're willing to take your clothes off and get on a horse? No, of course not. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But you just said. No, I said that maybe people need to be ready to put themselves out there. If there's a cause they really believe in. So, if you really believed in something... Sure. Maybe I would be willing to put myself out there. And do anything. Uh, for the right cause. Well, define anything. Hmm. Tell you what. I'll think about that and get back to you. Jen? You okay? Oh, more or less. What happened this afternoon? Oh, the radio show. I completely forgot. What happened? Well, I dragooned Cat and then turned to this totally weird argument. Then it got really interesting. We were mixing colors and whites. What? Oh, right. Stop. What's wrong? I just totally screwed up. What? I thought I was being so careful. I was taking all the precautions. So what are the odds? I'm not following. We just took one of those home pregnancy tests. 